Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I would like to do a review for this Marvel Legends The X-Men Wolverine from the Build-A-Figure Bonebreaker Wave To be honest, I have always wanted a Marvel Legends Wolverine but it has not happened till today because something will always put me off which is the claws Yeah, they are either sticking together or they are either you know, not straight up, uh, some of it are bending outwards, you know, it's very, very irritating to see that. But this Wolverine does look okay with the claw. And one more thing that I like is the costume seems to be uh, kind of different. I kind of like a different outlook of the Wolverine. And most importantly is it does come with a screaming unmasked head, which I kind of like because it does look pretty good. Yep, so the Marvel Legends standard box, as you can see, at both sides, we have these same Wolverine pictures here. And this is the back of the box and you can see the entire wave here. And this Wolverine is the one that comes with duplicate in the box set. So he is also the only one that doesn't come with any of the bone breaker uh, build a figure parts. As you can see here, they are all having some parts but not Wolverine. And here is some story about this Wolverine which you can actually pause and have a read. Okay, so let's get him out. Okay, so this is Wolverine right out of the box and the moment that I took him out, I kind of noticed something. Is he actually smiling or he's angry? <laughs> and let's take a look at his body. Wow, this is really good looking as I say that it does look kind of different. At the same time, it does look kind of iconic, you know, like the tiger stripe that we know of belt here. And you can see that it just looks very nice. Wow, the gold plated x over here and it's a separate piece so it can be moved along the waist there okay and yeah i think it looks very nice the paint is very good and yeah the finishing is pretty good as well wow it does feel some kind of like a mayfax kind of feel when i hold on to it yes i'm not kidding it just feels like a mayfax and these two things actually reminds me of mayfax as well his leg does have these things just like his head as well and the boots does looks very good the entire paint of it i just love it it just very worrying to me and let's take a look at the back yeah we can see some muscle definitions here and even the muscle on his arm yeah, I kind of hope that it actually gives more outlook of the, the hair. <laughs> yeah, he have a hairy arms and yeah, we can see some veins here, which is pretty good. Face again. <laughs> I kind of hope they actually makes the mouth more visible, but it's okay. And you can feel this is actually um, kind of soft, which is good. Focus of worrying, which is his adamantium claw. And this is very nice. We can see that it's like burning, like, like what it says that it's burning claw. Very nice. You can see that it's actually translucent a little bit. Very nice uh, transition from red to yellow i kind of hope that it actually grows longer though yeah but this is this is pretty good as well okay wow this is a nice worry there so let's move on to the articulation we'll start with the head as always so you can turn to the right turn to the left looking up wow pretty much and it leaves a huge gap there looking down even better these two pieces here can actually move around as you can see his arm can turn 360 degree no problem there okay it's also a butterfly joint which you can move the arms back and forth and arm shivers, double joint elbow. Wow, look at those muscles. And his hand can move up and down, turn around. It's two point articulation at the mid torso, so you can turn around very easily. Bending forward this much. Wow, pretty good. And bending backwards. Let's see. Yeah, not too well, just a little bit. There's a leg shivers as well. Kicking forward slightly more than 90 degrees. Kicking backward. Yeah, just a little. Double joint knee. And there's also a shivers on the boots area, which is pretty good. His leg can turn side to side, up and down, but there is no shoe hinges or whatsoever. So let's see how well this Wolverine can do a split. Uh, yeah, just like this. So I would say that this Wolverine had quite a decent articulations over here for a Marvel Legends. Okay, so for the accessory, this Wolverine only comes with this alternate Amma screaming hates, which is pretty good. I would say is that even the eyes are painted very nicely and the mouth, everything else is pretty good. The expression is there, the angry expressions and the hair is pretty well painted. There is no uh, smudges of paint or whatsoever. Everything else is very clean. 
Yep, so it's very very nice. But I still kind of hope that they actually give some interchangeable hands without the wearing claws, but <laughs> there isn't any. So let's see how well he looks with the unmasked head and just pull it off like this and just pop it back in like this. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> And next, let's have some posing fun. And with this screaming head, I think we'll just have to do a, you know, when he's ready to attack kind of pose. Let's check out how well I can do a pose like that. I always fail at this kind of pose, but I think he actually pretty uh, well articulated. So let's hope that I can pull it off nicely this time. Yeah, something like this. Wow, this is just looking pretty awesome. Like he's ready to attack over there this is nice and next i would like to talk about his skill okay so i do some googling and i actually found out that this wolverine is about 161 centimeter in terms of the height which is pretty short by the way and when you divided that by 12 is around 13.4 centimeter tall so let's get some measurements over here Okay, so we see that it has zero. Okay, and then let's go to the top of his head. It's around 15 centimeter tall. Okay, so <laughs> this is way taller than he's supposed to be. I believe this is the standard Marvel Legends height. If they were to make him shorter, it will be like the SHV quad scale already. If you do enjoy the video so far, please click on the likes button. Okay, so for the size comparison, I'll compare him with some Marvel Legends. I have the Captain America Anniversary over here, which is, wow, he's a lot taller than he is. As well as this classic Iron Man. Yep, so I think he scaled pretty well because he is supposed to be short. Still on the Marvel Legends, I would like to choose some big guys. Uh, I don't have any Hawk here. So I will have him do with the Red Hawk, okay? Yep, I believe the uh, normal Hawk will be the same, just the different color. <laughs> you can see it's so tall, as well as Juggernauts, okay? They are both from the Marvel Legends, yep. And moving on to some SH figures, I'd like to compare with this Cap versus Cap. Wow! So SH figures is taller than the Marvel Legends for the first time. <laughs> So as well as this, Tony Stark, okay, this is also from the SH Figuarts. And next, let's compare with some different brands. I have the Mayfax Catwoman, which I have recently reviewed, as well as this, Mesco Cyclops. And also followed by this Figma Deadpool, which is one of my favorites. And right now, I shall compare it with the rest of the Wolverine that I have. So let's start with this Marvel Legends Logan. Okay, wow. He's so much taller than he is. As well as this Mayfax Brown Wolverine. Wow, I think they are pretty much the same height over there. And lastly, I have this amazing Yamaguchi Wolverine. Of course, the head is custom. Okay, you can check out the review right over here. Nota Studio Logan. Wow, which is a lot taller than he is. Okay, so my final verdict based on all the star rating so far is 7.5 out of 10. Aesthetically, I think it looks great. The articulation is good. Um, the accessory is kind of lacking and the fun factor is there because of this very nice Amas Screaming Head, which I think is one of the best head of the uh, Wolverine so far from the Marvel Legends. For the scale, I think he's kind of too tall, but when you compare with the others, uh, Marvel Legends like we compared just now, I think he looks okay because he still looks short as compared to the rest. So yeah, if you are a big fan of Wolverine, I think this is a good one to pick up. And if you don't have any Wolverine in your collection, I would definitely recommend you to pick this up as well. And I must say that this is one of the best iterations of Wolverine from the Marvel Legends. So I do hope that you enjoy this review and most importantly, it helps you to decide whether you should get this Wolverine. And I'll catch you again in my next video. And at the meantime, you can check out this video right over here.